Well, this is a fish curry from Pondicherry in Tamil Nadu called Mean Colombo, is in the local language. I got it from a fisherman's wife. And I particularly like it because I've adapted it to cod. It is delicious and we've been selling it for quite a few years now yeah, in the restaurants and it's very much loved. So here we go. I'm going to begin by making the paste, the masala paste as they call it. So first of all, in my super new spice grinder, which will probably last for about two months before I break it. it yeah, then I drop it. <laughs> I'm going to first of all, uh, this is for my spice paste, I'm going to add some tomato, some garlic, quite a lot of garlic, Let's chop that up a little bit just so that it does blend perfectly well in, the, in my spice grinder, there we go. And next some peppercorns, it's a good spice grinder, There's some, some of them do, some of them don't, but they'll grind hard and soft ingredients. And here we have some, some Kashmiri chilies, it's my favourite chilli. Um, Indian chilli simply because it's not too hot, it's not blindingly hot and also it has a lovely deep red colour when you mix it with things. So there we go. And now some onions and again I just need to cut the onions off a little bit so they'll blend nicely. Very simple um, masala paste, I think you'll agree. Then we can go salt, just some coconut and off we jolly well go. Um, I'm hoping there's going to be enough liquid in there, but if not, I'll just add a bit of water. There we are. Yes, that looks nice. Oh, maybe not. So if it is a little bit dry, add some of the, the coconut milk. There's just a bit of water just to, to loosen it up a bit. There you are. Thank you. Over to me. Now, I've got the fish and <clears throat> the crunchy bits here. So I've got some vegetable oil that's going in. I've got this Oud dal, little lentils. Oud. Oud. What, so what's the purpose of this exactly? Well, funnily enough, I asked the lady that made this, what, what is the purpose? And she simply said it's for texture. Oh, and you. also, I think, a sort of nutty flavour as well. Yeah. But that's the sort of thing you probably wouldn't get in a, you know, no. without going to India, realising that they use dal actually fried in there. So I'm just going to fry that off for a bit and then some mustard seeds. Good. Do we just chop that cod up? Please? Yeah, yeah, sure. I think it says four centimetre pieces. Lovely piece of cod. And the reason you're adding these spices to temper them, aren't you? So yeah, uh, but, but the dal to, to crisp up a yeah. bit, yeah. But the turmeric and the mustard seeds, we're tempering yeah. them with the oil now just so that they don't have that raw taste. That's right, that's correct. And the paste. Okay, right. here's the paste. I just do like the smell of hot Indian spices, don't you? Yeah. No wonder. Indian food so popular in this country, it's just, you don't kind of, you don't mess around. It's very positive flavour, but not always hot. And now we're just, again, frying off the rest of the spices and getting the raw onion and garlic flavour out of the paste. So now we're just going to add this coconut milk and then just bring that to the boil and then we'll add our fish. You don't want to chuck the fish yeah, in there let's and do that. the fish. And I'm probably just going to turn it down a little bit Yeah. because you don't want to poach it too fast. I've just turned it down from a raging boil to a sort of simmer. When you're cooking the fish down like, like this, you don't put a lid on because at the same time as cooking the fish, you also want to reduce the, the, the curry, the, the liquid gravy. down. Incidentally, in India, curry just means gravy. So, I mean, this is what technically I suppose you could say it's a curry because it is a sort of gravy rich dish. I mean, that is really well flavoured, isn't it? Mm. So I'm just probing the fish and seeing we're about 45. Okay. So and because that is at 100, you know, boiling at 100 degrees, we're just going yeah. to turn that off now. We can let it the residual heat finish yeah. it off. I can't express how important I do feel that a probe is in a lot of cooking, particularly in fish dishes where you want to get the internal temperature of the fish just right. You need to know what it's like, particularly in a big chunky piece of fish like this cod. So finally, just a little bit of a rough chop. And if you'd like to stir them in. Oh, look, a smell, honestly. A certain smells, and I think curry leaves particularly, just take you right back to Southern India. Yep. Shall we dish up? Yep. All right, you do it. Listen, cod's such a good fish for this dish. It is, it is. It's interesting that it's not often in, in Indian restaurants that I would go for fish, but because sometimes I can't, can't believe how good it is and how much I should often go for it. 
That's lovely. Just need a beer. Absolutely lovely. Just a, a beer, yeah. Kingfisher? Mm. Okay.